Hi Taurus, welcome to your May love reading 2018. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon or Rising and also Venus if you want to check your uh, your reading for, Ven for your Venus sign. Um, for those of you who would like to get a personal reading from me, the description box below has all of the links that you can contact me with. You can also friend request me on Facebook. Um, Moon Pie Tarot, the link is below as well. Um, if you would just like to, you know, connect on a more personal level with me instead of just the Facebook page that I have. Um, okay, so also there's a lot of different ways to connect with me through my website directly through paypal or on the instant go app again if if you want to take the time and just peruse that below you can go ahead and do that so let's see what your reading is for you taurus happy birthday by the way um i want to pull an angel oracle card for your overall energy for love for the month of may and let's see what the energies are for you, what you need to be aware of. So you have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This card, I always like this card because this is the stop and smell the roses card. Um, and I feel like for you that this is really, when I whenever I get this card, I always feel like it's time for you to do some nice things for yourself you know take time out to heal your soul take time out to uh you know just do things that uh, that that heal you that help you to feel better um you know if you're having difficulties in relationships or with family or friends it's really important to take that time this this you know stop and smell the roses take a hot bubble bath go on a vacation do something nice for yourself and I feel like when you're in that place of self-care, that you are attracting the right-minded people to you because of behaving that way, because you care for yourself. Okay, so we'll start with your reading. Your past position, you have the King of Pentacles here. And this could be someone from your past who's an earth sign taurus another taurus virgo or capricorn now i'm going to pull to see what the energies are for this person generally the king of pentacles he's pretty reserved in the sense that um you know like he's not overly emotional um It's like, it's like, you know, he's always focused on work. He's, he's pretty stable. Um, he just kind of comes across as, you know, someone who's solid and practical and, you know, has material success. And I want to see what the energies are for this King of Pentacles. So I will say that if you are a male listening, this is definitely your energy in the past. You may have presented this way. You may still be presenting this way, but what are the energies for this King of Pentacles? Hmm. King of Cups in the reverse. This person may have been also, though, on the flip side, portraying themselves as being very stable, but could have been abusive and an emotional manipulator as well. Um... And of course, this doesn't have to be an earth sign. Sign. It could just be someone who comes across to the world or to everyone as being very stable and, you know, really has their shit together and what have you. But the truth of the matter is that maybe behind doors, this closed doors, this person can be emotionally manipulative. It's maybe smothering, insecure, or may have an addiction or several addictions. The other message is some of you may have been dealing with an earth sign or someone who is very stable and also dealing with someone who, another person who is very manipulative and emotionally manipula manipulative. Some of you may have had two people in your life in the past. 
uh, if this if you're the male listening and that's your energy that might be something that you know you may have been a very stable person at one time but something turned you to make you feel like you needed to be extremely clingy or um, you know something about you might have changed in the past your three I'm sorry your present position for everyone is the three of cups so I was feeling like another party or a third party involved this card generally talks about celebrations birth it generally talks about having a group of supportive people around you in the reverse it can be about you know a third party appa uh, affair but it can also in the upright it, it stands for friendship um, so I kind of I'm just getting a sense for some of you there may have been like a decision between two people or there was someone in your past who was very manipulative or if you're Taurus male and even if you're Taurus female you also could have presented in the past as being someone who seems stable or, or felt that way but began to change a bit and maybe became too emotionally needy or um, manipulative with someone so it's like several different messages and i'm trying to to, to give out as many messages as i can for everyone let me just clarify what this three of cups energy is okay so the eight of pentacles well there is some type of effort that was trying to be made um there could have been some type of manipulation or trying to master be the master of something or someone was trying to be the master of something some of you may have been dealing with you know someone who's extremely manipulative and works very hard to keep you and another person connected to them in some way the challenge here is the five of swords so there's difficulty in walking away from a particular person it's a benefit for you to do this for some reason I feel like you need to not be in this relationship anymore because there is something that's just not right I feel like this five of swords is I mean clearly someone who's just keeps placing these swords in your back it's like when you have the three of swords and you have that heartbreak and then the four of swords where there's peace and quiet and retreat and then you go to the five five of swords where it's like you actually go back and then you get stabbed in the back again so there might be some type of a pattern here that keeps playing out that you keep returning to someone who is manipulating you to some degree um, it's definitely a benefit for you to remove yourself from this situation but it's a challenge for you to do that and there could be many reasons for that you may be married to this person or there's some it may be a family member or some type of a connection that you have with this person but the two of wands is in the reverse so that just be, and that's a card about par partnership so you know there's travel problems some of you I'm sorry this is blurry some of you may not be able to leave your situation okay um, may have difficulty in making the decision to walk away from someone you know or if you've tried plans have fallen apart in the past um, or you're just not thinking long term or thinking about what the benefit could be for you it, it could be more like you think to yourself well if I leave I'm gonna lose this this and this instead of thinking in the larger terms about how much of a better benefit it would be for you if someone is abusing you or, or mentally or emotionally manipulating you now I feel like you some of you could have, have also been dealing with a water sign in your past who comes across as being very stable and structured but they are actually quite manipulative the king of cups is here in the upright and this is you know what's driving you and this is the energy of like you're oh this is the person you've got on your mind this it this water sign 
okay? And the King of Cups, when he's in the upright, is a very great person to have in your life, you know? He's like a great father, a great husband, he's tolerant, he's empathetic, he's loving, he's passion filled, you know, he's very emotional, but he's not like overly emotional or clingy. He's just very stable emotionally. But clarified with the Hierophant in the reverse, there's this rebelliousness with this person. Okay, there's problems with this person. Um, you know, there's definitely something different about this person this person you're dealing with um they're not really like anyone else you've encountered the way they go about things and perhaps how they've treated you it's not i don't want to use the term normal because i don't think normal is even a word that should ever be used but i feel like it's not appropriate behavior it's not something that fits you and I feel like whenever you try to talk to this person or whenever you try to you know resolve things they just kind of keep you maybe at a distance or at a level a certain level if this is someone you work with or or a partner or a family or a family member or a friend I just don't see like this person being committal and you're wanting that and that may have been the reason why you stayed in this relationship or connected to this person because you've had some type of hope because you have the Ace of Cups here in your hopes. But I just feel like there's something that you know deep inside you need to get away from. You're crowning you here, you have the sun. So that's a good sign. There's positivity within your thoughts that you know regardless of what has been going on or what's happening you still have this ability to think positively and you have hope and faith that you will come out on the other side you know you want a joyous outcome that's for sure that's what you know your thought process is that's what's overhead it's almost like having you know a beautiful sunny day look up the sun's up there everything's warm everything's bright the trees are greener you know the water's blue or <laughs> um, let me try and clarify this burdens are gone release of burden you know this taking a break energy it's what you are thinking you need a break some sort or maybe you get a break with this person and then they return and then it's that backstabbing again or those things that they do just ha rehashing you know and and this is a card about finally saying no and having that freedom and and this is i feel like for you guys what you're looking for what you want but there's just a challenge to do this so cards are falling everywhere so your near future going towards like the end of May you have the moon and I feel like you're going to get some answers there's going to be some voluntary changes happening for you um, some a little bit of light is going to be shed on some type of fantasy illusion that you may have been in that maybe somebody this person was leading you to believe that maybe things are okay or, or things are going to get better or for you to have hope and blah, 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 blah. I don't feel like you really felt like that to be true. Here we have the King of Pentacles again. So you, you guys are definitely dealing with water or earth. Okay? Even the Hierophant is Taurus. So some of you are dealing with Taurus. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. I'll just throw that in there. But you're going to get clarity about this. You know, this could be a water slash earth sign. You know, this person could be Taurus Pisces. You know, wherever the mix is, rising, whichever it is. It's most predominant. And the moon is Pisces. So, and could be Cancer. So, Whatever, however it relates for you, I feel like you're going to start realizing 
in the near future that this person is not stable that the facade that they have continually held up about you know trying to trying to hide the this you know have this mask on to hide this manipulation and abuse they hide behind being altruistic and stable and yeah 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 and i feel like in the near future some light is going to get shed on that mask is going to start to fall off and you will start to see this person for who they truly are And, you know, so, and you'll start to see that the reasons why they're doing what they're doing, the emotional connection to it is they're stubborn and jealous, and they just don't follow through with things. And that's going to come to light for you. Now, here's your advice, the Nine of Wands. You need to prepare. You need to take a step back. Check out your surroundings. Figure out what you can do what you're able to do, what you're willing to do. If you need to leave this situation, how you're going to do it. Enlist the support of friends. That's what the Three of Cups is here for, to help you to figure out how you can make this work, if this is, you know, if that's what you need to do. But the Nine of Wands is, is always that card that talks about, you know, it's like strategic planning. You know, it's a test of courage. And setting boundaries, figuring out now maybe what you need to do to set boundaries. If you can't leave and you have to stay, setting your boundaries. That's the most, and I always say in my readings that the advice position, that's your, when you're coming here looking for what's going to happen, it's, it's really what will happen is what you will make happen. You know, what you decide, how you tur uh, turn the wheel is up to you so your advice is to do just that to pull back fall back and you may have to plot and scheme a little bit to figure out how you can remove yourself from an unhealthy relationship now the queen of cups is here so basically the queen of cups she's very nurturing she's helpful she's healing she's supportive so there may be a friend that you need to seek out who has that energy that can help you she's surrounded by emotion but she has her feet on the ground so she's very healing and it's so that your advice really is to find that person whoever it could be to help you now this person that you're dealing with this is their energy here they have the four of cups everybody knows the four of cups is a card of apathy someone who's indifferent to you and your emotions and the relationship you know this person just cannot give you the love that you need or that you want you know and I feel like they keep trying to offer it but it's like they almost I almost feel like they they kind of offer this to others as well I'm not saying this person's cheating as I was saying like they could be and if you know that they are then this just confirms it but you know, don't listen to the reading and then just say, oh, great, now they're cheating. I'm definitely not, I'm not, I'm not going to fill your head with things like that because I don't want you to worry. Um, but I feel like this person is just really indifferent to any love that you try to give them or connect with them. They're just like, oh, whatever. They're, they're there for their gain not yours they're not willing to share um yeah okay so i'm gonna say it they have options they have other options and this is kind of shitty to tell you but i'm not gonna you know sugarcoat anything you know i don't want to i don't want you to listen to this reading and just feel like extreme feel worse because i feel like you've got support and people around you 
that can help you. Usually the reason why people don't get out of relationships, even if they're unhealthy, some people is because it's hurtful. They don't want to feel the pain, but the feelings won't kill you. I mean, they'll feel like they might. Um, but if you feel like you need to leave, I feel like this person just can't make a decision. Even if this isn't other people that they have to choose from. I mean, you've got like all these cups here. And I just don't get a sense with them that they are, you know, capable. They have commitment issues or they're abusive. They could have a drug or alcohol problem. They've got too many choices. And so they just kind of like give you a little bit here and there. It's almost like for some of you, if you're dealing with like someone with NPD, you know, there are there's you that they offer their love to and then they've got others waiting in the wings you know and that's it sucks but who hasn't dealt with that and of course here you are hoping for that gigantic cup to be like your cup you know i when i look at this card i just feel like you know the cup that they offer you it's already filled with stuff you know so how can you have a relationship with someone who's already has like a predetermined uh, when someone offers you a cup, you know, it's like an even exchange. It's reciprocal. They offer you a cup. You fill the cup. You give back. You know, they, they offer, you return. You know, this person is offering you already filled cups. And while it may seem like oh, this is great, not only are they offering, it's almost as if they're saying, this is what you're going to have, instead of allowing you to pour back into that cup your share of the love. And that's what you want, this empty cup. You know, you want to be able to share. You, you want them to offer their love, and you want to fill their cup so that they receive, because love is not just about giving it's also about receiving if, if you know how many of you have been in relationships where you've tried to give someone your love and they just denied it and that's not that's not an equal reciprocal sharing of a relationship okay sorry for the blur I'll hold up the cards yeah I mean you just want to manifest that's what you want you want that you want that new beginning because the ace of cups is always you know either a new baby or a new relationship or proposal marriage birth all of that and the magician is like you know turning visions into reality and these are things that i feel like you you want with this person or at least in your life in general but i feel like as long as you're maintaining a relationship with this person you're really not going to get what you want because they are i don't feel they're truthful i feel they're fake so your outcome card is the magician, again, with the Ten of Pentacles. So again, you know, t you're turning something into reality. And the Ten of Pentacles, this is a card about, you know, <sighs> stability, security. So I feel like you are going after your stability and your security for what it is that you need. You may be setting boundaries with this person and saying, hey, you know what? I can't leave. I have to stay here with you. But this is this is the line that you cannot cross anymore. You're going to draw that line. Okay, so there's your four of swords. That's you, you know, retreating, detaching from the emotional chaos and being very cautious with this person. So if you're having to stay in this relationship, if you can't leave it, okay, I see you finding a way to detach so that it doesn't cause you grief, setting your boundaries with this person, and f doing that so that you can have this security in your life, but being cautious with them now by what you share, you know, you're, you're going to kind of like close up a little bit because I feel like when you share certain things with them, it almost gives them ammunition of some sort to use against you. And if you, if you are 
able to leave, I feel like you're going to make that that you're going to make that trek to finally just remove yourself from the situation and go for that security that you need. But you will be cautious about getting into another relationship again because of what you've been dealing with here. You will find yourself, you know, not. What did somebody say to me the other day? Cautiously optimistic. Because the fool is always like, you know, fresh hope, takes chances, you know, new beginnings, that kind of stuff. But when he's in the reverse, he's kind of like a bit apathetic um, and a bit absent. And I feel like that's that may be part of your healing, which is always what the Four of Swords card represents to me. You know, someone who goes inward and takes a rest. This is retreat, renewal recovery solitude so that you can manifest a new beginning and that's why i felt like this card was so important for you the attraction card okay because now you you've got this the energy is calling out to you to for self-love to start taking care of yourself emotionally to fulfilling your own holes with that love and warmth and care that you need because i just you know i just feel like for some of you this message coming through I don't know how many of you are going to understand this or even relate to this, but I feel it's really important for you guys to acknowledge what's going on with this person because I do get a sense that a lot of you already know this. You already know. And it's just a matter of like kicking yourself. Like, why do I keep going back to this relationship or why do I keep allowing this person to treat me this way? You know? So... I'm seeing like a really good outcome. Just remember that your advice here is to, you know, pull your energy back and try to get go get some healing or some understanding of truly what you're dealing with in May. I feel you've got someone around you who will support you. This could be a female, um, a water sign. Doesn't have to be, but this person's very nurturing. This could be a mother, a sister. This could be a very close friend, a counselor, a healer, a tarot card reader, <laughs> anybody can be anybody okay so i wish you all the best taurus happy happy birthday i wish you much healing and love and i will see you guys uh next month all right take care bye